Tell you what, young man, come right on up here and give me a hand. Come here. That's up here. Come here. Come on, right here. Little guy right here. What's your first name? Luke. Luke. Hold on to that for me, Luke. Have you got it? All right. We, we, we give the kids some pretty cool gifts sometimes. We give them a balloon or something. All right, now Luke, go back and have a seat right there in the front row. Luke gets home as he's walking up to the house. His balloon touches the electric wires going into the corner of the house. You guys see the arcs going around the outside of that balloon? Guess what? The electrons travel on the outside of our wires. You cannot see the electrons on the outside of our wires. You cannot see the electrons on the outside of like Laura's car, uh, the, the crane, the hi-ho. You can't see the electrons on the outside of those pieces of equipment. Okay, what about Luke's balloon? Yeah, you can see it flashing around the outside. Folks, these are nothing more than aluminum foil painted balloon. It's a metal balloon that's painted. And then they take a mylar metallic ribbon sometimes and they'll tie it to the bottom of that. We wrap that ribbon around this little guy's wrist, tie a knot in it. Okay, they've got it in their hand. What happens if that kid touches a bare wire in the garage, maybe beside the house? Are they a path to the ground? You betcha. Don't ever put a metal ribbon on any balloon because that metal ribbon becomes a path to whoever's holding on to that balloon. I always tell the kids when they get done with these things, poke a hole in them, throw them away. Hold on to it for me, Luke. Got a hold of it? I tell him when he gets done with this thing, poke a hole in it, throw it away. He's like, oh, don't destroy my cool balloon. It wants to fly away. So Luke opens up the house door, lets the balloon go. Is the balloon going to come back down? Oh, about two or three days later, the helium gas gets out of this balloon. It floats towards your power company substation transformer, 69,000 volts electricity. When this thing lands on the high voltage bushings of that transformer, you guys, that 99 cent balloon gets an arc started in a substation. That arc can destroy that piece of equipment. Maybe we lose, lose a million dollar substation transformer. We get to the substation, we find it's been destroyed. Can we replace that substation transformer in 20 minutes? Uh-uh, that's a four to five day job and it's very expensive, very expensive. Folks, we find a cause of that outage. We find what's left of a balloon. We find a ribbon. And once in a while, we have that nice little card that's got your name and address. Hmm. Yeah, who wants to pay for that? I don't think any of us. But you know how we really pay for that? We pay a monthly power bill for stuff like this. So do us a favor. When you get done with these things, poke a hole in them, throw them away. Do not release them for vacation Bible school, birthday parties, wedding parties. And quit tying them outdoors to the mailbox. Because when the ribbon breaks and that balloon floats off, tell me where that balloon's going to land. We really don't know. Let's poke a hole these things thrown away. Let's use good common sense.